So we are here to commemorate and also remind, remind Kenyans about what happened to, uh, to our people. Uh, we have been in this journey from two or three since when Kareto Morugi opened uh, these chambers and uh, declared that is going to make it, uh, the government is going to make it a monument of shame. This country, whether it is independence, it came out of struggle. That struggle was uh, marked by detentions, torture, disappearances, and mass movement of people who are resisting colonialism. In the second liberation, many people died in this place. From 24th and 25th floor, people would be tortured up there, people would be beaten up there, people would be abused up there, and when they continued resisting, they would be thrown from 25th floor. And then it is said somebody had come up there to commit suicide. This is a part of history that people want to forget very quickly. And as a, a former victim, as somebody who was here for more than three weeks, as somebody who has served two stints in political jail, 1982 to 83, then later 1986 to 89, I want to say we shall never rest until we say as a country, never again. We are all members of the National Victims and Survivors Network, Wazalendo, from the first and second liberations of Kenya. We are the survivors of the Nyayo House torture chambers and we are keen of those who have survived and those who have passed through these dungeons. We are here because we want to commemorate the 19th opening of Nyayo House torture chambers to the public view of the dungeons where the worst human rights violations and atrocities occurred. We speak to the youth of this country and remind them of the human cost of torture for the liberties and benefits they currently enjoy. That the political prisoners you see here today and the detainees that you see here today are a conscience of before you today paid with their limbs, their bodies and their lives for the rights that you enjoy. And we would like to inform you that the political space and freedom that you still enjoy mm -hmm. by the abusers was hard fought for and brought about by, their very own, by our very own comrade, Honorable Reinla A. Odinga. That shall somebody have to be tortured, have to be maimed, have to be killed for other Kenyans to enjoy their freedoms. We demand the repeal of Gazette Notice number 11 of 1990 that protected Nyayo House torture chambers from public viewing and we petition parliament to repeal this and make Nyayo House torture chambers open as a public memorial site. We appeal for the full operationalization of 10, 10 billion Kenya shillings restoration justice fund for the benefit of all survivors and victims of torture before the current parliament goes home. The Azimio Yawazalendo that will launch chapters countrywide to campaign for Comrade Raila Amolo Odinga's quest for presidency in the Republic of Kenya. Azimio Lawazalendo Oye! Oye! Azimio Lawazalendo Oye! Oye!